Hey! So the Polish language is known to be one of the most difficult ones. At least that's what I heard. In Polish, compared to other languages, we use lots of consonants. We put them next to each other rather than putting vowels between them. Um, and for many foreigners, for many people that don't speak Polish, it's very confusing and just impossible to read. It's sometimes confusing for Poles as well. I sometimes personally have many problems reading some words, so I really, really um, admire people who do actually uh, speak Polish completely correctly with no spelling mistakes. I don't know how to do that. In today's video, I wanted to share a bunch of words that I personally think are difficult to pronounce, that have lots of consonants and very little vowels um, that I've heard people telling me that are difficult to, to, to say. So there is only a bunch of words. I didn't choose too many, but I think the, the ones I chose are the most difficult ones. But if you have any other ideas, any other suggestions, tell me in the comments, because maybe I just missed out some words. The first word is szczęście, which in Polish means happiness. And I think it's difficult because it starts with sz and then it goes ch and then it has sh and then it has ch. So it's szczęście. So even though the meaning of this word is very pretty, it is super difficult to pronounce even for me when I speak fast, when I speak to someone um, like in a you know, normal everyday conversation and I want to say the word szczęście, I usually just say szczęście or something like that. I just miss out a couple of, a couple of uh, consonants because it's just easier. <laughs> uh, the second word is wstążka. Um, the, the word wstążka means a ribbon. Um, and the person who said that it's difficult is my Spanish teacher, actually. Um, it's a funny story because um, once we were sitting in a Spanish class, the way our Spanish classes are is he usually shows a bunch of stuff from Google um, to make the class more interesting. And uh, he forgot to turn off uh, one tab he had on Google from the previous class. And it was like girls like with ribbons in their hair. And we were all like, what is that? Why would you show it to us? And he said it's because <laughs> he did, doesn't know how to pronounce this word or it's very difficult for him to pronounce this word. I don't remember how it's in Spanish, the word ribbon, because my memory is very bad. I, don't, I still don't know how I learned English. Um, but instead of telling people that ribbon is wstążka, he decided to just show it on Google Images because it's easier. The next word, the third word I chose is źdźbo, which I actually don't know how to explain it in English. So let me look it up online. So apparently, the Polish word zbo in English, it means blade, the flat part of a leaf or petal. Apparently, I had no idea. I would never even have guessed that. However, zbo, um, which is, this word only has one vowel, which is O, and it's, it's at the end. Um, the first three letters are zbo. So, I don't know, for me, if I saw that word for the first time, I would be extremely confused and I would not know how to read it at all. So after this word comes the word szczotka and szczotka means a brush, usually a hairbrush, um, because the word toothbrush would be szczoteczka. So the word szczotka is very similar to the first word I mentioned, which is szczęście. Um, it's, it also begins with szcz. The next one is skrzyżowanie. Skrzyżowanie means a crossing in Polish. And I've noticed that usually the letter, the consonant that makes the most trouble with all these words is S because it's pretty much in, well, in most of the words that I mentioned so far. The next word is very similar. It's skrzypce, which once again starts with S. Uh, skrzypce means violin and once again, if I speak fast, I do not, I do not pronounce it correctly. So as long as people understand you, that's what matters. I honestly couldn't care less about pronouncing all the words that I say super correctly. I just want people to understand me in the language that I'm speaking. Now the last word that I think I should mention is the word. It's actually a number, which in English is 99, 
In English it sounds very, very well, it's very easy to pronounce. But then in Polish it's 99, which we don't even pronounce the way it's written, even though in Polish usually, you know, you see a word and you read it the way you see it. It's not the same with this word, we just say 99. We just miss out the ch in the word 90. We just say 99. So it's faster. That's the last word off of the list. As you notice, and as I mentioned in, at the beginning, Polish has lots, lots, lots of consonants and very little vowels. It's also a thing that I learned that I, I cannot even speak English anymore. Wow. It's also, also a thing I learned on university that usually is the Slavic languages that have more consonants than vowels. For example, when, if you, for in English, for example, or in Spanish, or I have more like Latin roots, I would say they have more vowels and they sound better, they're easier to pronounce. You know, you usually hear people saying that Spanish and Italian sounds like as if it was a song, as if people were singing instead of speaking. I don't think Polish sounds bad. I think it sounds cool, even though it's difficult for me to, to give my opinion as a Polish person. So these are all the words I wanted to mention in this video. If you have any other ideas, um, let me know. I would like to hear the words that you may struggle with, maybe in Polish or in your own language. I really like listening about other languages. I'll end this video here and I'll see you in the next one.